Last video I discussed the cons of owning a disc, and now we get to part 4, the cons of owning a digital copy. One thing I should have mentioned in the first video is that these are all based on my personal experiences. What you find better is your opinion, and your opinion only. With that said, let's get down to business. The first con of owning a digital copy of something is making sure you have the proper disk space. Having a full or close to full hard drive space is something that should be taken into consideration. Removing programs that you don't use anymore will fix this problem. I have three hard drives on my computer. My SSD drive, my SSHD drive, and my external hard drive. I separate work from play so I know exactly where things are at. The next kind of owning a digital copy is the download time. This varies from person to person depending on their download speed from their internet provider. If you have an internet provider that offers between 3 megabits per second and 6 megabits per second of speed, chances are you're paying too much. You should consider getting 10 megabits per second and greater if you don't have the patience to wait. Of course, the biggest X factor is what you're using that type of speed for. I'll go into more detail another time. The next con is once you buy it, it's for life, as most online retailers don't offer refunds. Interestingly enough, Steam and GOG.com offer refunds, but under certain conditions. Also, if you keep abusing this, they can put a stop to your refunding ways. While it is uncommon, the next con is that products will be there one minute and gone the next. Example, if you wanted to buy Tomb Raider but don't have the funds, no problem. You run to your retailer and pick up a Steam card. When you return home and activate the card, you now have the funds. But when you go back and try to find said game that you want, it isn't there. The most likely reason is probably because the product isn't selling well or the product is getting a makeover. There are a lot of reasons, but these are just a few. The next con is price. Most of the time it is cheaper, but every once in a while, you'll come across a digital copy of a game that's more expensive. I personally haven't seen this happen, but if I did, then there's probably a good reason. The next con is piracy. While it was easier to pirate games back then, today it's a little bit harder. This one's hard to explain. What I'm saying is that DOS games can be given to just about anyone via bulletin boards, and I'm not talking about the ones with the cork backs. You'll have to look it up. The next con is that the download you want could contain viruses and trojans. While rare, this has happened to people in the past, you have to make sure that where you're downloading from is an authorized dealer. There are people out there who have inside scoops and release dates. If you see something like that, they're probably scammers. The final con is compatibility. You have to make sure you meet all requirements before purchasing. If you make a purchase and suddenly realize that you didn't meet the requirements, you're stuck with said purchase. Well, that takes care of part four. Stay tuned for part five when I compile everything together and give my final verdict. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these two beauties right here. If you want to subscribe to my videos, click this button here. And if you want to see more of my videos, click this button over here.